Hi guys, today I've got a collection of things that I've bought for you over this last month and I just wanted to share them because I quite like some of them so this month I went on a major shoe hype and bought a couple of pairs of shoes that I probably didn't need but I bought them anyway and I got them from office so I've kept these on in the box I have worn them once but they're very very lovely they are these Ooh. they're just like massive it's gone really bright platformy type shoes with this little buckly bit here um, I might demo them for you <laughs> but these were yeah I just had to get them because I haven't really got many heeled shoes that I find really really comfortable and I've worn these and they are super comfy I may have done up the strap a bit too tight the first time I wore them but once I did it it was fine and I wore these on a night out and I sort of walked quite far in them and they're really comfy the only thing I'm not used to is if there's like a tiny beanie stone or something and then you just sort of pew, it's quite awkward but practice makes perfect and I think I might be getting some more shoes sort of in this sort of style so my next shoe slash ankle boot buy were these ones I've been wearing these non-stop since I've bought them they're just like a classic Chelsea boot and they're all real leather these are from office as well so I went in there and sort of spent loads <laughs> but they're just a very like sort of just the classic Chelsea boot because I haven't actually got one or a pair that are just flat and I've been wearing these to work quite a lot and they've been keeping my feet really really warm as well I was quite surprised but I've sort of been wearing these with everything and I just love them they're my new favorite sort of shoe and I think they're really really cool because you can just wear some like frilly socks with them and it will make an outfit something girlier so I bought these these were 62 um but I think they'll last me a while because they're just sort of nice I hope they last me a while otherwise I'm going to cry my next couple of sort of bits sort of like beauty skin care type of things but my first thing was this a makeup bag it's a Paul and Joe one and when I saw this I went to Selfridges and I saw it and I couldn't resist I couldn't even open it because I've been trying to find a makeup bag that will fit my brushes in because I take a few brushes to work with me and they're all too small and then they sort of make my brushes go like funny at the end and I don't really like that so when I saw this I had to get it it's kind of like a a like a Vilafax <laughs> you've got like little bits you can take out excuse the grubbiness of it I used it the other day and the brushes need a clean not gonna lie but and then you can like unclip it and take things out and I literally am in love with this and I love the colour of it and it's just handy <laughs> So my next couple of things was I went and got some body shop body butter because it smells like beautiness. It just makes me s just think of holidays and yumminess. This is the peach one. I love the peach one. So got that. And I also went into boots. Not a very good thing. But all I got was this bourgeois. Paris, it's all in French, I don't know what it says. It's the rice powder thingy jig that they've done for their 150 year anniversary, and it's like a highlighter thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's just this really nice powder that I just sort of brush over my highlight spots, just my highlight spots, over the high points of my face. Let me try again. And I just think it's really, really cute. It's just green and pretty and now on the floor. This next one is actually repurchase. So this time last year my skin got really quite bad 
and my mum actually suggested that I try this foundation which is the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Foundation and I really didn't think it was going to be any good for my skin but it actually really cleared it up massively and then I got kind of bored and bought sort of foundations that I was wearing before and my skin's just gone to pot again and it really did clear my skin up it's actually quite surprising how much it cleared my skin up because I didn't think it would and for a like a mineral powdered foundation it's got really good coverage as well although they don't have many colours so I can't put a heavy sort of full coverage amount on my face because then I turn orange so this one's in fairly medium and it's just in a little pot <laughs> and then you just tip bits out into the lid and then you take your brush and then you just sort of swirl it on to your face and it's literally gone everywhere now so still with trying to keep my face lovely and clean I bought the Dermalogica Dermal Clay Cleanser and I bought this because it was actually recommended for me uh, when I went for a facial because I've got quite oily skin and this is meant to decongest your pores and sort of give you a major sort of clean on the oily areas and I have used it a couple of times and it makes my face really really tingly but I think I'm going to be doing a review on all my sort of skincare stuff and you know what I think works for quite sort of oily and acne prone skin so I am doing that I will get there but this is I like this and it's good I would buy it I have bought it my next thing is the Elemis balancing lavender toner you can see I've used this as well this was part of what I mentioned with the review it smells delicious it just oh. like lavender is meant to like help you sleep and stuff and I put this sort of as a toner before I go to bed and it makes me want to sleep which is good because sometimes I struggle but I got this as well and this is part of the review yet again so I will let you know how I get on with that in like a couple of weeks time so that's it guys thanks so much for watching I wanted to just show you what I've sort of bought recently and you know this sort of links into what I'm going to be doing soon and in the near future and hopefully you enjoyed watching this and yeah uh, hopefully I'll see you in my next video and please feel free to subscribe or like this video if you genuinely liked it you know I like to know what you guys like and you know feel free to message me if you like as well so thanks for watching see ya bye